So Dr. Johnston approached us with this opportunity. He um, is passionate about trans healthcare um, and recognized a gap in our community with the services, um, with these individualized services for this population. The Southwestern uh, Ontario uh, gender, Youth Gender Diversity Clinic is a program uh, that we put together uh, al uh, along with the Chatham-Kent uh, Community Health Centre and the Windsor-Essex Community Health Centre, with the goal being to provide uh, uh, gender-affirming care to the uh, transgender, uh, gender-diverse, and uh, non-binary uh, group of, of youth in our area. Uh, but any primary care provider can refer to the program. Individuals who uh, aren't attached to any primary care can self-refer. We diagnose gender dysphoria. Uh, we assess for the appropriateness of um, uh, hormone blocking agents and uh, uh, gender affirming hormones like testosterone and estrogen. And we also uh, manage uh, sort of the common comorbidities that we see uh, in uh, this group of patients. Dr. Johnston chose to approach the CHC is knowing that we're really uh, involved in that wraparound care and uh, able to kind of help on a multifaceted level. I try to put myself in the position of a youth who is dealing with these issues, say a grade nine student who's, who's beginning to question their gender, uh, what, what do they do? Um, and many of them are really at a loss you know they may or may not be comfortable going to their uh, uh, family they may or may not be comfortable going to their family physician the chatham kent chc have three sites so dr johnston actually travels to those locations different days of the week in order to be able to minimize uh, the transportation costs and barriers associated with even the drive uh, the 30 minute drive from one of our rural communities i've been able to provide a much more robust service uh, since I began doing this work in the community health centers as compared to when I was doing it myself in, in private practice. Data shows that transgender individuals often do feel a mistrust in relation to healthcare providers. And I think that all relates to the comfort in being able to provide the care that they need. It was always Dr. Johnston's idea to kind of continue to expand and offer this support. Um, he's a great advocate for um, helping others to learn um, education and promotion of trans health care. And it's also allowed me to develop partnerships with uh, other agencies in the uh, area, like uh, Trans Wellness in uh, Windsor, as well as our own Access Open Minds, which is a, a youth a mental health service here in Chatham. So we partnered with the Windsor Essex CHC um, and was able to, we were able to initiate um, a clinic there. It's very gratifying to see them, uh, see as they get to be more themselves, to see their confidence improve, their anxiety settle, uh, their general functioning improve. Um, and certainly there's lots of support that we've received um, while we've grown our program through other um, trans health support networks. Um, London has an excellent program and they certainly helped with uh, some education of our primary care providers as well. So Dr. Johnson is working to try and educate that this is something that can be managed within primary care and um, is always willing to support um, providers who have questions, uh, making this more of um, a routine um, part of a primary care practice. I think the, the big message I want to give people who are in communities such as, as the one that I live in, is that this clinic is entirely doable. I am so thankful to Dr. Johnson for uh, bringing us this opportunity and being able to provide the service to individuals in our community because what a need. To steal a phrase that I like from one of my colleagues, it just takes a bit of clinical courage to say, yes, this is a, an issue, uh, it needs to be addressed and, and we're going to do it.